Okay, we lost that part. Uh -huh. Okay, no problem. Do you understand this? Okay, let's move on to the most interesting and complicated part. It's about projection. Projection, projection, projection. Projection is very important. We are doing projection throughout the semester. Okay, maybe you don't see clear now the application, but I promise okay, maybe today or maybe next class, we working with the projection. Let me explain in detail the key idea for the projection and after, let me try to prove the formula, the theoretical part, and I bring one example. Look, we have, suppose that we have a vector, one vector. Uh -huh. This vector I call B. And we have another vector. Suppose another vector, B vector, can I call A. What is the projection? The projection is you projecting the vector B onto the vector A. So this is this is the projection. Uh -huh. Of course, this is 90 degree. Uh -huh. Let me call this segment. Well, this segment well, is a segment and also as a vector, no? It's projection, 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 R, projection. Projection. Uh -huh. Projection of the vector B onto, onto, onto the direction A. Uh -huh. Entonces, we have two kinds of projection. We have this projection, que es orthogonal projection, both, no? And this is an also another projection. Okay, this is, this is also another orthogonal projection, projection of the vector B, but in this case, para, perpendicular, no? Perpendicular to it. So the, I call, the book called different name. Uh -huh, uh, the notation que I propose you is, for example, call, this projection like a horizontal projection, H. I put project, projection H as a horizontal, and this is a projection vertical, a projection B. Uh -huh. So far, so far I dedicate for the red one. After we see uh, one possibility to compute the projection vertical, but I want to explain another way after, okay? But we focus it now in the projection horizontal. Okay, first of all, I need to find one thing is component, 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 component of the vector B onto the direction A. Uh -huh. Some book in my mind like call this a scalar projection, a scalar, and the vector B onto the direction A. Okay, a scalar or component is the same, different name, you know, is a scalar. It's, a no, it's just a number, it's just the length of this, okay? This is a component. So basically, we using the idea for the dot product, no? The dot product. Suppose that I multiplication, dot product, o sea, dot product, remember, is uh, B, absolute value, B, o sea, uh, magnitude, no? Uh, suppose that we have a unit vector here, unit vector, unit vector, unit vector in the direction of the A, uh, and the magnitude unit vector of the direction A for cosine theta. Okay, you remember the formula of this. So say, magnitude of B is magnitude of A. Uh -huh. uh, and I, magnitude of the unit vector is one cosine theta. So basically, this is using trigonometric. You know, cosine is the ratio between hypotenuse and adjacent. This is the idea, okay? So what is the interpretation? Interpretation is, if you want to find the horizontal projection, you compute the unit vector and the direction that you want to project in and do the dot product. In other words, guys, in other words, the formula is A, a dot B uh -huh, divided by absolute value. Absolute value, no, magnitude of A. Uh -huh. And this represents a unit vector in the direction of A, double B. Okay? Uh -huh. This is the component, and component is a scalar. Component is a number, because the double product gives me a number. If you want to find the vector, so this is totally different, 
o sea, projection, projection de vector B onto the direction A es igual de component to the Jose Alegría. Ok, es component, 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 component que es el number. Uh -huh. Multiplication, multiplication, this is the number, es scalar multiplication de, de, ok, de, 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 Univector en la dirección, o sea, univector en la dirección of A, o sea, basic es the component es the double A de B divided by magnitude of A a multiplication by multiplication. This is not double, es a regular multiplication by the univector and the direction of A, que es A divided by magnitude of A. Entonces, la fórmula es super easy, la fórmula es A double B divided by uh, uh, magnitude of a squared, because we have two, uh -huh. multiplication by a vector. This is the formula. Uh -huh. However, uh -huh. uh, some students like memorize or using formulas. Uh -huh. Okay, I respect that. However, in my opinion, it's super easy uh, not necessarily memorize formula, because You want to projecting, you find the univector in the direction that you want to project, it. perform the uh, dot product in between the vector B and the univector in the direction A. Bang, you get the component, it's a number, and this component multiply by the univector in the direction of A. And you get the projection, the red projection, no? The red projection, the blue projection. If you want to find, well, no. so far, the only possibility that we have is B vector minus the projection, but the horizontal projection, the, the projection H in this. Okay, because you know that the red vector plus the blue vector is equal to the black vector. And that's it in the story. Any question? Let's move to the example now. Example, example, example. Example of the one's fantastic application of the dot product. It's the projections. Suppose that we have a vector A, okay, A is 3, 6, negative 2. And we have the vector B, que okay, is 1. 3, 3, no, 2, and 3. Aha, what's the goal? The goal is find the scalar, o sea, the component, and the vector projection, so find the scalar, scalar is equivalent to say component, no? Aha, and, 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 and vector projection. Vector projection. Si no especificación, what projection? Si es horizontal, es vertical. You assume que es horizontal. Bueno, in this case, off onto a vector. Okay. Entonces, you perform the dot product. A dot product B. Uh -huh. A is 3 times 1 is 3. Plus 6 times 2 is 12. Uh, minus 2 is minus 6. The answer is 9. This is the double problem. Uh -huh. Now, this is the component. The component of the vector B onto the direction A is the double problem, A dot B, divided by magnitude of A. Mm -hmm. Magnitude of A is magnitude of A vector. Remember, it's a square root. It's 3 squared, it's 9. 3 square 9, 6 square 36, uh -huh, plus uh, negative 2 square 4, uh -huh, this is 49, square root 49, 7. Okay, so basically the component is 9 over 7. Okay, this, is, this represents the length of this vector. Now I need to find the vector. This is the component, I did that. Boom. Now projection vector. What, what projection vector? The horizontal projection vector. The horizontal projection vector is 
projection vector, projection, the vector beyond to A, is just multiplication, this number, multiplication by the vector A. Aha, uh -huh. to say is, okay, is 9 over 7, uh -huh. multiplication by the vector A, que the vector A, because the projection A lie parallel to the vector A, no? So, so the vector A is 3, 6, minus 2, no? So, so is the vector, the famous vector is 27 or over 7, no? Uh, over 7, no? Over 7, wait, 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 wait. Okay, 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 it's a 9 over 49, wait, wait, wait. Okay, projection is 9 over 7, uh -huh. and now this is unit vector, and the unit vector, the magnitude is 7, so you divide by 7 here, by 7 here, by 7 here, so it says 27 over 49, so this is 49, no? 49, okay, comma, <coughs> 54, so 9 times 6 is 54 over 49, comma, 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 a negative 18 over 49. And this is the vector projection. Okay, the formula I using was, uh -huh, this formula, let me see. The formula was a dot b vector divided by magnitude square. Well, magnitude square actually. If magnitude square is 7, so this 7 and this 7 together is square 49. No? Multiplication by the A vector. This is the formula. Do you see that? Oh, I, I complicate a little bit the explanation, no? But it's clear, no? Yes or no? Answer me. Okay, this is the projection H. Horizontal. So in a specification, you can build always projection horizontal. Projection vertical, well, it's easy. Projection vertical. Vertical projection B onto the direction A. The formula is B vector minus a projection vector. Projection horizontal, of course, of the vector A onto the direction A. Now basically, A subtraction, the vector B is the vector 1, 2, 3. Uh-huh, 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 minus the vector that we compute before, que the projection horizontal, que 27 over 49, comma, 54 over 49, comma, negative 18 over 49. Now, subtraction, this is, this is just stupid arithmetic, right? It's no big deal. I, I skip this idea because we have a lot of complicated things to thinking. Uh, this is, you put in the calculator, 1 minus 27 over 49, blah, 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 blah. blah. The answer is 22 over 49, comma, 44 over 49, comma, 165 over 49. End of story. We complete the projection. Uh -huh. And you break it down. This vector B, the base idea is the vector B, I break it down in two components, one component like that in the direction of A vector. Uh -huh, this is the projection horizontal, no? And another projection gets vertical. Uh -huh. Do you understand very well or no? Any question? Any question? No? Uh, Daniel, okay? No question. Okay. Good. All good. All good. All good. Okay. I like it. I like that. Okay. Uh, well, let me uh, recall quickly, of course, some important property of the double. Okay. The most important property is commutative property. So multiplication 8, double B is equal B double A. Okay? Uh -huh. Entonces, when you perform the double, it doesn't matter the order. The order is the same, the answer is the same. 
uh, no always happen, but in the double, yes, I guarantee you 100%. Uh, one more thing, well, 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 suppose that you multiply any vector time itself, uh -huh. it's obvious that it's the actual value, or the actual value, I say actual value, but it's, it's a magnitude square. Okay, and this is obvious, no? Because the formula is magnitude the first, time magnitude the second, for cosine zero degree, because the angle in between A and A cell is zero degree, cosine zero is one, so the multiplication is A squared. This is the most important problem. We have more property, but this is the most important thing I want to emphasize. Okay, guys, so now to finish, not finish, but uh, you know, to conclude a little bit so far, the Doppler, I bring one, one problem that you know very well, is the physics war, it's about war. War in physics is, is a scalar because war is in physics work is mechanical energy. By the way, the unit is Joule. Uh -huh. um, the, the war is given by the dot product in between the force, it's a Newton, the unit, dot product, displacement R. Uh, normally the, the the teacher can explain physics, don't complicate a little bit this formula and so you put directly like that. It's equal magnitude of force multiplication, it's a regular multiplication dot uh, displacement or distance is the is the same. Well no no it's the same. Displacement is a vector. Distance is a scalar. Okay, does so it magnitude R but wait wait a second. Money to R and physical S cosine theta. Okay, it's the angle in between these vectors. So basically it's multiplication of the force. I don't care the vectorial component. No, no, no. The magnitude multiplication by magnitude displacement gets this tan is this tan cosine theta. Okay, this is typical. Suppose that uh, one problem is given the the distance travel. The distance is 27 meters. Uh -huh, no problem. And the force applied to the box is 250 Newton. Uh -huh, suppose that we have uh, one sketch to understand the problem. This is the box. Uh -huh, and the box is dragged to the one force. This is a force. Uh -huh, this is the direction that is moving. Therefore, the vector displacement is in that direction. Uh -huh, R vector and the angle in between is given also in the problem is 25 degree. 25 degree theta is given in the problem 25 degree. Okay, now the word is multiplication only 250 is the force. Multiplication by 27 get the displacement or this time. In this case, cosine 25 degree. You put in the calculator, of course, and the answer is 6,100. Uh, 18 joules. End the story. Super easy problem, but I want to. Uh, my intention to do this problem is connected with the physics. No, uh -huh. you see the application for the dot product. But not only so the, the the application was uh, application number one the, of the dot product was determine the angle in between two vectors and 3D. The second application that we study today is the projections. Uh -huh, how you break it down, one vector and two projection. And the application number three is the computer work. Okay, I promise that we are using uh, in several moments in the in the course, throughout the course. Any question, any question? Easy, right? Easy or no? Come on, guy. I want to get you participate in the chat. You say easy, be so gay, be so gay, be so rock. Okay, okay. Now let's move on to the cross product. Cross product. Cross product. Cross product. There's another kind of product in between the vector. Uh, cross product. So the symbolic way, the, the terminology or the notation that we use is A cross B equal something. 
equal another bit. Like when you multiply using cross product, the answer is a vector. And the product, no, the product is scalar. In cross product is a vector. But this vector has a specific characteristic that I want to explain in a few minutes. Uh, okay, what is the idea? What is the idea? What is the definition? Definition is the vector C, is the double product. The definition is complicated, but I want to apply a shortcut. Suppose that the vector A has component A1, comma A2, comma A3. And the vector B uh, is B1, comma B2, comma B3. Uh -huh. Entonces, the vector C is a weird formula que nobody memorize, que es A2, B3, minus A3, B2, coma, ese es el primer componente, el segundo componente es A3, B1, minus A1, B3, coma, el segundo componente, y el tercer componente es A1, B2, minus A2, B1. ¿Ok? Nobody remember this stupid formula. This is definition. However, when the mnemonic UI definition to remember this idea is using determinant. Okay, entonces A cross B, A cross B, A cross B, uh -huh, we're using determinant because determinant is one fantastic way to condensing when you have complicated formula. Uh -huh, entonces, in the first row, you put the, the unit vector, the uh, orthonormal base, que we use the I, J, K. Uh -huh. And you copy here A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. And you uh, expand this. Uh... Okay, let's do it quickly. Uh -huh. uh, for example, you expand using the, 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 the first row, to say the vector I. Uh -huh. And the minor associate or the cofactor associate is A2, A3, B2, B3 is the number that you obtain when you delete mentally this row and this column. No? It's a, the idea for the minor. I suppose that you remember this in, in Cole Algebra no? or in Precalculus. Uh -huh. So now I did that part. Okay, look, so you multiply A2, B3, and A3, B2 is exactly this part. Uh -huh. Minus, uh -huh, because the second place, the second element, the cofactor is, is minus. Remember the alternative sign. This is positive, this is negative, this is positive, this is negative. Uh -huh. However, we expand all we use in the first row, the row one, row one, only row one. This is classical. Row one. Because then the second is J, uh -huh. uh, A1, A3, B1, B3. And the third one is K, but it's positive. And the minor or the cofactor, whatever you want to call, it's not the same, but it's similar. A1, A2, B1, B2. So it's super easy. Remember in that way. Okay, this is equivalent to this idea. But you are doing that way. So I, I want to do one example of the cross product by hand. But nobody do it by hand in their life. We have calculator TI-89 or Angel Algebra. Okay, this is the last time I want to do, or not the last night, but uh, because in another chapter, but in this chapter at least, This is the last time I do it by hand, one cross product. Suppose example two. In example two, we have a vector, que es el vector 1, 1, 1, 1, 3, 4. And we have another vector, B, que es el vector 2, 2, 7, and negative 5. Uh -huh. A, 1, 2, 5, A, cross B. Bang, it's a goal. Okay, it's important to understand that B cross A, when you switching, is not the same. Because I using my knowledge of algebra. So you interchange two rows in one determinant. 
the answer is the same with the opposite sign. Suppose get, so now you get the opposite vector. Okay, you get the vector, but you get the opposite vector. Okay, let's do it quickly, 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 quickly. I set out A cross B. A cross B in that order. Uh-huh. So say you put I, J, K, I, J, K. Uh, do you remember why this vector have a hat like that, no? Because it's a special orthonormal, okay? Uh -huh. It's the standard base. And you copy, and you copy. One, three, four is the first vector. And the second vector gets two, seven, and negative five. Uh -huh. So you change the order, so you compute no A cross B. You compute B cross A. And B cross A is different. Well, it's opposite. Uh -huh. Now, ready. You expand the use in the first row always. I vector. And determine I get form A, 3, 4. 3, 4, 7, 8, 5. Minus J. Uh, 1, 4. 2, negative 5. Uh -huh. Plus K. Uh -huh. uh, 1, 3. Two, okay, and you, I suppose you remember how we computed two by two determinant, get the multiplication of this and this, and this and this with the opposite sign. You say I, this is negative 15 minus 28, minus J, this is negative 5 minus A, plus K, okay. Is parenthesis uh, seven minus six. Good. This is negative. This is negative. 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 Forty-three. Forty-three. I mm, plus because of thirteen negative double negative become positive. Thirteen J. Uh huh. Plus K. One. One. Only one. No. One K. Okay, this is using Hamilton notation and using the other notation that is more comfortable, at least for me, is negative 43 angular bracket, angular bracket, 13 and 1. Okay, and this is the answer. It corresponds with the, 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 the cross problem. Uh -huh. Entonces, bueno, professor, I understand that, but it's too long and complicated. No, 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 no. We're using the, uh, GeoGebra, for example, or oh, graphical grid, either way. Uh -huh. However, um, let me try to interpretation this interpretation. What is that? What what is that? What is the interpretation of this vector? It's a vector c, no? It's a vector c. Well, well. So you find the magnitude of the vector c. Magnitude of the vector c is square root square root negative forty three square plus positive thirteen square. Plus one square. Yes, just one. And the answer is square root 2019. Uh -huh, but don't give me some sense in this answer. You round it, you put it in the calculator, it's 44.93. Uh -huh. And this represent this number represents the area. The area in the one parallelogram formed by the vector A and the vector B. I want to see right now in your algebra, but no, no, no. Okay, look, look, look. Important thing, important thing. We have a vector A, suppose. We see in detail in your algebra now. We have the vector B, suppose. Uh -huh. And the vector A cross B, A cross B. Uh -huh. B, B, que es el vector, es el vector, uh -huh. es, 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 the direction of this vector is according to the, the right hand side rule, the right hand rule, what is the rule, the rule is, you using your finger, right hand, you, you, you put a finger pointing to the first vector, que es A, Suppose get this in your hand. Now you bolt, so you rotate. Rotate no, move your your finger 
in the, this is the direction A, que es the first vector, ¿no? And you move your finger in the direction of B to touch the arrow of B. So basically, now my hand look like, like that. And the thumb indicate the direction of the vector C, que es the crossbow. Bam! Es the direction, the direction in this case, you see que, for example, si I am doing in opposite direction, B cross A, es minus C, es minus C vector, right? Because B first, A second, entonces, my minus C pointing down. This is minus C. That is the reason que the cross portal is no community, okay? It's, it's different, well, at least the direction is different. No? Uh -huh. Now, the, the, that number, the meaning of this number represent, represent the area of the one parallelogram, this area, this area. This is the meaning of this number, okay? Okay, okay, uh -huh, uh -huh. To, to see perfectly, 100%, clear. Let's try to show you your algebra. I create one screen for you of this. Okay, let me share screen. Okay, the algebra. There you go, bang, bang, bang. I have that. Okay, the initial, do you see the algebra now? Yes or no? Okay, okay. Look, we have two vector. We have two vector. We have the vector one, three, four. Uh huh. This vector. Boom. Let me flash it. Uh huh. Remember to put it the vector in your algebra. You put lowercase capital S a, S a point like that. Look. Bang, bang. Point A, and this is the vector A. And the vector B is flashing now. Look, 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 look. look. Uh -huh. And you perform the cross pro, que it's super easy to type in that because you put, let me try in another line, for example, here, you put cross, 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 and you put only cross, you see here in the menu, back to back to. Uh -huh. I don't finish to type in that. No, 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 no. I only, okay. Uh -huh. Delete out this. Delete this. Okay. Now is uh, and then when you press enter, you see this symbolic way. I don't know why this way is a circle and the cross in this side. And this is the exactly the same. Look, look, look. This is my two original vector. This is my new big wow, too big vector, right? Make it sense, right? Because it's negative 43, 13, and 1, exactly the same. I obtain by hand. Amazing. Nobody doing by hand. Never. Okay, you put in your algebra and end the story. And, 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 and the dot pro, okay, the answer, the, the absolute value, absolute value, absolute value. How you indicate absolute value? Oh, minus 2. Minus 2. Remember, the, the cross pro is U vector, okay, is A cross B. And the vector B, you find the magnitude. The magnitude you find here in the keyboard. And the keyboard of the, of the, okay, let me rotate here. Keyboard, well, in this case, I don't see keyboard. But on the keyboard, you see actual bar. It's a bar. Uh -huh. Now, look here. We have different segment here. And we have a polygon, a polygon or parallelogram. Bang! And this area is exactly the same value. Look, look, look. This area. It's exactly the same, the magnitude of this big vector. Okay, this is the interpretation of the uh, cross plot. So, let, let me summarize the idea. Let me, let me summarize the idea. Uh, uh, the cross plot. Let me go back again to the, 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 the whiteboard. Whiteboard. Wait a second. Uh -huh. uh, here, over there. Uh, share screen. Switching to webboard. Okay. 
Good. Okay, number one idea. Number one idea is the multiplication to vector using cross product. Give me another vector. This new vector we can compute using the this mnemonic divide using the terminal. This vector is perpendicular to the original vector, orthogonal, totally orthogonal. Uh huh. And, and, and I forgot to say that the dot product, the, the actual value dot product, another possibility to interpretation is magnitude of the vector A, multiplication by magnitude vector B. Okay, this is this dot, little bit dot, indicate regular multiplication, sine theta. Oh, it's sine, no cosine. And to say this allow me, when it's sine, to find maybe, maybe, no now, no now, but in your moment, I promise, the vertical projection. Right? Remember, we have the triangle like that. Bang, this is theta. Uh, to find this projection, we're using cosine. Double. To find this projection, okay, sine, you're using cross power. It's a one possibility. Mm -hmm. Another possibility is subtraction. Let me see. Okay, number three conclusion is that the direction of the cross product is represent or we determine using the right hand rule. Okay, you move your finger in the direction of the first vector, you move your finger to touch the arrow for the second vector. Uh -huh. And you get the the, 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 the the direction using the thumb, the cross product. Okay? It's clear, confusing, or no? Clear or confusing? Guys? Clear or confusing? It's clear, right? Daniel? Confusing? Okay, sorry. What part is confusing? Come on. I need more information. What part is, is no, it's no, I saw super easy everything, but no, 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 I need to understand what part is confusing. Boom, 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 boom. What part is confusing? Come on, see, so you don't ask me question, I don't understand anything. I am confusing. Okay, okay. Who I mean this? Wow. I told you guys, this is a very, very complicated class. It's enough for everyone, okay? Then you proof me and right hand rule. Right hand rule is easy, look. Let me show you, let me show you, let me show you, for example. Right hand rule. This is the X axis, Y axis, and this is the uh, Z axis. Okay, we have the unit vector here. I, we have the unit vector here, J, J, and we have the unit vector here, K, K. Okay, okay there, you go, there you go, there you go, K, 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 K. Uh, curiosity, let's compute the cross pro, for example, Mm, let me see. J, suppose J, J cross K. Wow, I have no idea. I wonder why I can put in the determinant. No, 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 no. Because mm -hmm, uh, I know that the answer for this is, uh, is, is orthogonal, it's perpendicular to the I and K. And using the hand right rule, I put my 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 hand in the direction of J. Uh, my right hand, not the left. See, see, I write with the with the left. I don't care. It's the right hand. Uh -huh. You put the finger in the direction of the green direction, the J, and you try to um, move your finger to touch the arrow for the eye gets red. And you can see now, K 
que the direction is, o sea, I, 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 sorry, sorry, I, to touch K, 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 que es el second vector, sorry, que es de blue, uh -huh. entonces, I see que my thumb point out to the direction I, yes or no? Ok, this answer is I. Make sense now or no? Ajá, ajá, ajá. Ajá, let me try another, let me try another, let me try another, let me try another. Suppose J, again, cross I. Ajá, J cross I. Bueno, J is again the green. Ajá, I is this. Oh, 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 it's down. It's down, it's down, it's down, it's down. It's negative gay. It's negative gay. Now it's clear, miss? Clear or no? Come on, I try to do my best, but I need uh, can you participate, huh? To help me to oh, 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 I don't watch the time to explain this. Okay. Okay, Professor, thank you. Okay, Annette, 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 Annette. I know that you are good. Okay, okay, okay. Let's move on to the scalar triple pro. Scalar triple pro. Okay, scalar triple pro. What is what is that? Well, scalar triple pro. We have three vectors. A, B, C. Suppose A vector, B vector. C vector, uh, and we perform this triplet problem. But this triplet problem in this direction is yes. you take, you, you select two. You select two, for example, A and B, and perform cross problem. And after, just a vector, you perform double problem with this third vector. Doesn't matter, the order is not important. What is the interpretation of that? What is the interpretation now? Suppose that we have a vector A. Wait, let me try to do my best. Okay, this is the vector A. Suppose that you have a vector B. Uh, and suppose that we have a vector C, like that, 3D. Uh -huh. Now, when you perform this cross problem, we get a new vector, que is according to the high rank, hand right rule, is A cross B, que suppose que es the vector like that. Of course, it's a big vector, no? It's A cross B. Uh -huh. And the magnitude, you know, the magnitude represents the area of this parallel. This part is a vector. The direction of this vector is in that direction. And the magnitude of this represents this area. However, you perform now C dot pro. And C dot pro is okay, you compute the component. Well, the component, this component, okay, is the projection. Is the projection. The projection is, is for example, the you multiply C multiply by the unit vector the unit vector in this direction is a cross b divided by minus two no a uh -huh. and when you you multiply double with the vector c ah uh, you get this projection this projection so this projection this project. Uh -huh. uh, when you multiply, this projection is this. So, so you have the volume of this box. Let me try to do my best in 3D. Gang, 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 and gang. The of this box is a parallelopipedal. Okay, uh, this the multiplication, the multiplication, this projection, this projection, 
time times you multiply both sides. But let me erase this. Okay. Okay, okay. So you multiply, for example, uh, everything by the by the area. Okay, the area is the the area multiplication multiplication by the area. But what the area you, I know is the magnitude of the vector of this. Uh -huh. And we get exactly the same. The cross product is this expression. So this expression represents the volume of these parallel people, or this um, prism, or this box. Okay, the volume for this box. So this is the interpretation, the triple, the triple, the triple plot, scalar plot. Okay. Uh -huh. However, however. However, let me see algebraically the idea. Look, look. Suppose A cross B, I know how we compare by hand. Is a JK, uh -huh, A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. Uh -huh. I can interpret this like, like, like I. Multiplicate, multiplication by cofactor 1, 1. And the cofactor 1, 1, you know, is when you delete this, it's the multiplication, this and this and this. Mm, whatever, plus cofactor 1, 2, J. And the cofactor uh, inside includes the sign, plus cofactor 1, 3, K. Okay, this is the idea. And if you, okay, basically, it's a, it's a vector, no? It's a vector C1, 1. one comma C12, comma C13. This is the cofactor. I suppose you remember, guy, cofactor and minor of the determinant, no? And so you perform now the triple product, the triple product, the triple product is multiplication by C. So A cross B, uh -huh, a dot C, is equivalent to A, is equivalent to C, Okay, you multiply this vector, okay, it's the vector C11, comma, C12, comma, C13, the product, uh -huh, in this case, they are coincidence, okay, C1, comma, C2, C3, okay, is the component for the vector C. Uh -huh. But if you can manipulate this and express it like a determinant to understand more clear, and the determinant is Replace no I, J, K anymore. No, 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 Dimension uh -huh. represent 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 the volume of the one box determined by these three vectors. No secret, no surprise. We can do using vectorial uh, calculation or directly in algebra. You put, put the vector here, one vector, two vector, and three vector. And you compute the volume. Uh -huh. Wait, 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 wait. One more detail. This is magnitude. This is the mag uh -huh. the, the volume, but the determinant may be positive or maybe negative. Okay, so actually, the volume is the absolute value. Okay. Let me write like that. Look, absolute value, absolute value, absolute value. Okay, is equal, is equal, is equal, is equal, absolute value ABS of this number. Okay, so we, we can do in different way. We can do in different way. We can do using the triple problem. So you select two, two vectors, perform the cross product, and this cross product is a vector multiplied by the product with the third vector. Oh, 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 you set out one determinant form by three vectors and you compare exactly the same number. Okay, uh -huh. and to say now, one super in interesting example, one super, 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 super interesting example 
is uh -huh, when the, when the, you want to prove que three point bang bang and bang que represent the arrow of the vector are co planar co planar what mean to be co planar que this point a b and c living in the same plane in the same plane in the same plane suppose que i have three point in the three dimension space bang 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 a b c I want to prove that this point is contained in the same plane. Or no? Or no? The one fantastic way is uh, using the triple product. Uh -huh. See, the answer of the triple product is equal to zero is because do not exist the box. The box is totally flat. And they are coplanar. I bring one example. Okay, any question uh, uh, so far in the theoretical part? Triple pro representation. Triple pro is the multiplication number one, cross pro, number two, dot pro. And the answer give me the volume of the one hypothetical box in the 3D space. One fantastic application is to prove that one three point are coplanar or no. Coplanar means they living in the same plane. Okay. Uh, I am ready to example, Professor. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Example. Okay. Guys, uh, I explain to the average of the students, no? Some students are smart and exciting to see example. Suppose, 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 can I have three vector or three point? Okay. Three point. Uh -huh, three point that we can okay in your algebra look in your algebra uh, suppose that capital letter is a point it's a point get one comma four comma seven this is example three no today i don't remember uh -huh, and use immediately write like a vector no in vector in, in the paper you're using any notation i understand but in your algebra is a low case represented vector those is one four Seven. Uh, the, the point B is the point, sorry, parenthesis, no angular bracket. This is angular bracket, coño, in the paper. And your algebra, no, it's parenthesis, everything is parenthesis. It was the point is 2, comma, negative 1, comma, 4. Uh -huh. And the vector is the same stupid thing, right? It's angular bracket, 2, comma, negative 1, comma, 4. Uh, and C point is the point 0, comma, negative 9, comma, 18. And the C vector is uh, uh, 0, comma, negative 9, comma, 18. Ah, it was one fantastic. I know, I know, I know. Okay, the triple product, for example, so I select this order. It doesn't matter the order. I, I compute B cross C first. And a double. I can compute it like that. One four seven two negative one four zero negative nine eighty. Okay, you put the first vector, okay, say, and the cross product with the other vector. Bang! I compute that. The answer is zero. Wow! That means that the point A, B, and C lie in the same plane. Co-planner is the technical name. Co-planner. Co-planner. Uh -huh. I have one script in, in the algebra that I try to send to you. Guys, uh, this is script you open in your computer. Uh, how do you compute the... You don't know, Daniel, how you compute determinant? Guys, definitely, ow, you need to go to the to a room. You never done matrix. Wow. Okay. Sorry. No, 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 no. I explain. But no, no, here. It's another topic of the calculus tree. In the in the room, and you have five extra points. Remember. Okay. Let's go to another topic. See, you have no question. Uh huh. Uh, I, I, don't worry. Be happy. I can explain this by hand. But I want to explain using calculator. I want to explain using algebra. Okay.
Any other question? Any other question? Come on. Alf. No. Good. Okay, let's move on to another very, very important topic. Okay, because I don't know, we discussing point, we discussing vector, we discussing a sphere is the only object that we discuss in calculus three. However, we have more object in calculus three. We have line and plane. This is the topic now. Equations. Equations. Of lines in 3D, of course, and plane in 3D, of course. Okay. Okay. Let me start for the line. I want to discuss the theoretical part. After I I I I bring two examples, one of the line and one of the plane, and we continue Friday. Again, line plane, line plane, line plane. Okay, suppose, suppose, suppose. This is the rectangular coordinate system that we studied the first day, x, y, and c. Mm -hmm. And this is my famous line. I okay, want to determine the equation of this line. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. The piece of information that we need to determine the equation of the line is piece number one, one point on the line. We need one point. For example, this point. Piece number two, we need vector direction. Okay, you need to memorize this information, guys. To define in three dimension, one line, we need we need one point on the line, maybe it's giving or no, you need to discover, determine, and one direction, one direction vector is one direction, okay, que is exactly on the line. This is the direction vector that I call B, and the point I call P. Okay, so now I found, for example, the position vector, the position vector, let me call R null, R null is the coordinate of the point B. Okay, I want to call, I want to call X null, Y null, C null. Suppose that this information is given. One, two, three. That's it. That's the number, right? Uh -huh. Now, to find any position here, vector on the line, let me call R. Uh -huh. This is a position vector. And any point on the line, I call X, Y, C. In general, this is a variable, this is not variable, it's a number. Uh -huh. Now, this vector is the vector B, multiplication by one specific scalar, that I call T, everyone call T. So the equation is a vector position in any, in any point on the line, is equal R null, okay, the given point on the line, plus vector direction, multiplication by t, and t represents a scalar. In this case, it's from, and this is the equation of the line in vector way, vector four, it's a vector, vector, vector equation, wow, vector equation. This is important, this is, this, this is the reason that we study vector, because vector help me to understand this. However, we have another, another way to represent the, the, the equation of the line, que es a parametric. Bueno, actually, t represents the parameter, right? Uh -huh, it's completely free variable. However, you break it down component by component. For example, x component, que es this x. Look, s equal, s equal, x null, x null plus a, T. And who is A? Wow, wow, wow. Well, vector B have three components, A, B, C. Mm -hmm. And indicate direction. The Y, a Y null, plus B, D. And Z is C null, plus C, T. 
Ok, and this is the parametric equation. Parametric equation of the line. Exactly the same we study in calculus 2. Well, in calculus 2 we study in two dimensions, not in three dimensions. Okay, entonces it's only x and y, but no it's x, y, and z. And this derivative exactly of this, no? Because r is x, y, z, and you evaluate component by component. So this component is equal to this component plus this component tiny. Anti represent the parameter, que the parameter is all real number, positive or negative, in that direction, or in that direction. Okay, parametric, parametric. And we have another, another kind. Yes, we have another. another and this is, everything is important. The, the vector equation, important. The parametric equation, important. And another equation that we study now is important. It's symmetric equation. Symmetric. Symmetric. Symmetric equation. Symmetric equation. You, for example, eliminate the parameter. You eliminate the parameter. You solve for t, 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 t in any parametric equation. Uh, for example, in the first equation, x minus x zero or null divided by a represent t in the first equation. And the t is the same, you know? Y minus y null divided by the, divided by, by, by b. Uh -huh. And this is z minus z null. Okay, so actually, say one of professor, this is uh, this is no one equation, it's three equation. No, well, yeah, this actually, it's not three, it's two equation. No, because you ignore, for example, the last one, uh -huh. and this is a uh, one equation. Oh, no, well, you ignore this, and we have another, another equation. Okay, don't worry for this. I promise in the example, you see clear the application for this. Any question about definition? Of the uh, of the line in 3D. Okay, what what do the variable represent? Represent the component x, y, and c. Oh, okay. In any point, x, y, and c represent any point on the line the component x comma y comma c. Look at that, Mister. This is the position vector, and the position vector is a vector from the origin to any point on the line. Suppose this. X, Y, and C represent the component of the point on the line. Clear or no? What about ABC? ABC represent the component of the direction vector. Okay, vector direction. ABC represent the component of the, the direction vector. Or the vector direction. Clear? Okay, okay, two okay. This is the theoretical part of the line. Let me go, go, go to the theoretical part of the plane. Play now, play now, play now, play now. Uh huh, play now, play now. And so, my, my question is now what piece of information we need to define one line in three dimensions? What, how? What piece of information we need? What 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 we need? We need the boy very well, and we need one more. One more information we need: vector direction. So to define a line, this is the most important thing that you need to memorize. The other is super elementary. So we need direction. Okay. We need the point and direction. It's similar to the 2D. In 2D, remember the equation for the line y equal mx plus b. B represents one point, que es the y and, set, and m represents direction, que es el slope. Entonces, en, en 3D es similar, pero es vectorial. No? Let me see plane now. Plane is it's different. Totally different. Plane is something like that. Boom. It's the plane. Using your imagination. It's a plane. Normally, the letter we use to define the plane is Greek letter, pi, alpha, beta. But, okay, just to define a plane, we need two pieces of information also. We need piece number one to define a point on the plane. Okay. 
Let me call here, point. At each point, of course, we have position vector, R null. Uh -huh. To define another point on the plane, suppose another point on the plane, we have another position vector that in general I want to call R. So, so R null is the point expressed like a vector is X null, Y null, C null. And R alone is X, Y, C, S in general. Any point on the plane in general. Uh -huh. Now here we have a normal vector. A normal vector, normal. The second piece of information that we need to define in play is a normal vector, no direction vector, no, 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 normal, que es perpendicular to the plane. Uh -huh. A normal vector, maybe I want to call ABC. Uh -huh. Now, if you want to find any point here, suppose this point, this vector, sorry, is a vector R minus R null. As you multiply R minus R null, multiply by double normal vector. I know that they are orthogonal, 90 degree. Therefore, the answer is zero. Wow, fantastic. This is the vector equation for the plane. Look like we are, but uh, don't worry. I want to translate this in one common language. This is the a vector, vector equation of plane. Uh -huh. Entonces, okay, the most important thing you need to remember is to define one plane in 3D, you need a point on the plane and you need a normal vector. Okay? Uh -huh. Let me translate this to the another language. Suppose um, R, okay, R minus R null is, is a vector gets X minus X null, comma, Y minus Y null, comma, C minus C null. This is a vector, this. So X, Y, C minus this. Okay, this is a vector between two points, no? You remember that. And the problem, the the normal vector okay the component i call abc okay i don't know why abc abc so this is equal to zero uh -huh. now you perform the problem now this so is a time x minus x zero plus b time y minus y zero plus c time z sorry Minus z zero is equal to zero, uh -huh. and this is normally well, okay. This is the one possibility to represent the equation of the plane. But no, 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 no. You are remove the parentheses, okay? A x minus a x zero plus b y minus b y zero plus z z minus c zero equal zero. Uh -huh. So I organize the variable x, y, c in alphabetical order, x, x plus b, y plus c, c. In the right hand side, I move this guy, this guy, and this guy. Okay, so now I move this guy, gets a, x square plus b, y square plus and c, c squared. And this is just a number, right? Okay, I call d. Uh -huh, d is a number. Does it now ax plus by plus c equal d? Wow, wow, it's no surprise. This is the equation for the plane that we studied in pre-calculus. In pre-calculus, we don't know anything about vector, and we never state relationship between vector and algebra. Uh -huh. We discover, we, we suppose, okay, this is the... Uh, Linear equation for the plane. So basically, wait, wait, I forgot C here. Uh, this is the classical. For example, when you are solving in pre calculus system of equation in three dimensions, the thing that we try to find is a common point in between different planes. So in 3D, 
in 3D, o sea, we have three equations, three unknown. Basically, we have three planes in three-dimensional space. And you try to find the intersection between the plane. This is the thing that we are doing in pre-calculus. But, see, I summarize everything so far, and we have time. Okay, guys. Line and plane. To define, to define one line, we need, we need one point and one direction vector. To define one plane, we need one point on the plane and normal vector. This is the difference. Do you understand this or no? I will, I, let me uh, try to see opinion. Do you see my face or no? Look, 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 look. Plane, plane, look at my, this is my hand. Do you see my hand? All right, let me stop. Yes, okay, let me stop, stop sharing. Okay, this is my face. Okay, this is my, the plane. Uh-huh, so I need one point on the plane. Bang, one point, and we need normal bait. Look, look at my, my pain, normal bait. And the line, no, the line is different. The line, I need a point and the reach. Clear? Clear? Okay. Say it clear. Wow. I believe you. Okay. Let's move on to the example. Okay, it's the most important moment, no? Because, okay, don't worry. See, we don't finish today. We continue on Friday, no? Okay, suppose example four. Example four. In example four, Okay, I need to find the vector equation, parametric equation, and why not symmetry equation for the one line, line, uh -huh. and this line passing through the point, 5, 1, 3, so one point is given, nice, I love you that, point, and it's parallel. Ah, okay, sorry, carajo. Okay. Okay, and it's time, and it's time. Okay. Okay. Okay, do you see the whiteboard now? Good. Okay, now my goal is I try to do one example to illustrate how you find the equation of the line. Passing through the point, this is a given point, P1, point, point, point one, given, and it's parallel to the direction vector, okay, is the vector, one, comma, four, comma, negative two. That's it. So everything is given. Now the vectorial equation is R is equal to R null plus B, T and T is a scalar. T is a number K vary in between negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, so now my 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 R vector, okay, by the way, is x comma y comma z is equal to the position. I I I convert immediately point to the position vector, no? So say it's the same. Pi comma one comma three plus the direction vector que es 1,4, coma 2, coma negative 2, t. Angular bracket, angular bracket, angular bracket, t. Don't! Okay, well, no, no, you can do, you can do like that, you can. This is perfect. However, some people prefer the vector in that way, phi plus t. Phi plus 1, t, no? Coma one plus forty. Coma 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 three minus two t. Okay, okay, it's a more elegant, compact in one uh, vector equation. It's a vector equation. Okay, let's move on to the parametric equation. Oh, parametric, I like, I like, I love. Okay, the x component. A5 plus T, the Y component, 
is one and the z component is three minus two end of story uh -huh. and remember when you parameterization something you need the specification the parameter gets t and the interval is leaving the parameters so t vary from negative infinity to positive infinity uh -huh. and your algebra how you put like that well you don't put infinity and your algebra i put normally negative 100 and positive 100. So a big number, no, to indicate. And you see the line. See, it's not enough, you put 500 or 1,000. Okay, this is parametric. However, I need the symmetry also. The symmetry is easy, because you isolate the parameter. So you eliminate the parameter. So it says x minus five. x minus five is equal to t. Uh -huh. a y minus one over four is t. S equal is equal is equal C minus three over minus two. No, uh -huh. oh, 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 much better, at least for me. Is three minus C over two. Okay, let me write, let me write, let me write, let me write. This is the symmetric equation is X minus five, X minus five, uh -huh. equal Y minus one over four, uh -huh. equal, equal, equal three minus C over two. Everyone follow me so far? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay, so we have three kind of expression, yeah. Of the expression, the equation of the line. The vector equation, the parametric equation, and the symmetric equation. Uh -huh. To finish that, I want to take advantage another way to express it, the equation for the line. You take now the symmetric equation, look at that. And you take by couple. And you, for example, cross multiplication. You take x minus y equal one minus one over four. You take the first couple, cross multiplication. We have four x minus five equal y minus one no? uh -huh. you distribute the property for x minus 20 uh -huh. equal y minus one okay to so say you organize a little bit you organize a little bit this equation and to say is 4x minus y uh -huh. equal 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 negative one plus the 20 19 right boom and what is that by the way, wait, wait, I make it stay here. This is 4x, right? This is x. Okay. This is x. Uh -huh. So now, you see one of the professors, I, I, what is that? What is that? Well, this is a plane. This is a plane, no? Remember the equation for the plane in, in algebra is ax plus by plus csc equal d, no? It's a plane. When you represent this in your algebra, you see the plane. And this is also the plane. Well, okay, Does it, what is the relationship between this plane and this line? Okay, okay. Suppose I, I find the, another couple, for example, I take y minus 1 over 4 equal 3 minus z over 2. And you again are doing cross multiplication to y minus 1, 4 times 3 minus z. Uh -huh, 2y minus 2 equal 12 minus 4c. And you organize in this format. Uh -huh, so I put one of x is missing in this equation. Okay, I understand. Y no is 2y plus 4c uh -huh, equal 14. Equal 14 because uh, 12 plus 2. Okay, 14. It's another plane. The basic, uh, we have plane one and we have plane two. And the intersection of this plane, ooh, 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 represent this famous line. Okay, okay. So one, another fantastic way, another fantastic way is the another possibility of the equation of the, our famous line is the intersection, plane one, intersection, plane two. 
I want to call P1, P2, P1. This is the plane one, P1, pi one, and this is pi two. Okay? Yes, you write like that. Wait, 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 wait. You put a, the curly bracket like that, and you copy both plane equation. Uh huh. 2y plus 4c equal 14. It's another possibility that can make it sense, right? Because one plane, chan, chan, chan. I want to show you now, no now, because the time is over, in your algebra, and the intersection with another plane is a line. Look at that. Look at that. So two plane intersection is a line. But we have three possibility to express it, the equation for the line. Vector equation, parametric equation, symmetry equation, and intersection to plane. I promise that next time, Friday, we continue working exactly in the same problem. I want to use in this equation of the plane, find another parametric equation. I want to illustrate, I want to illustrate that the parametric equation is not unique. It's not unique. So this is one possibility. This is one possibility. So they are no, they are infinity. Possibility. Algebra, but no, no, the time is over. I want to show you this idea. Guys, are you clear everything? Guys, listen to me. I am very concerned for you. Okay, I checking uh, today the enrollment in the my my lab only seven students. I checking uh, in YouTube only thirteen view in the video. The course has begun. Okay, uh huh. And you count on our help. I suppose that you are told, and this is a summer and summer is too fast. Sorry, if you want you withdraw and take it next semester. Uh, uh, see, it's not too, it's too fast for you. You take next semester. Any question? Any question? Let me stop recording.